let's talk cataloging movies. So obviously when you hit about a certain amount of movies, probably in the hundreds, unless you have a photographic memory, you're not going to remember everything you have. I mean, I can't remember everything I have here, everything I have there, the TV shows back there. I can't, I can't remember all that stuff popped on my head. So the key to that is cataloging. So I've tried a lot of different apps over time, and one that I'm going to recommend and I'm going to go over right now is called CLZ. They're collectors. They're called. It ends in a Z. But they have apps for for uh, music, books, movies. I use the movie one. It's a paid app, but I find it to be worth it. It's a buck forty nine a month or fourteen ninety nine for the year, and Let's dive into it. I'll show you a little bit how it works, and I think it's the best one. Okay, so we have open space over here. I got my cell phone on screen record. I'm going to be able to show you everything so we can keep up with each other. And before I do, I want to say this is an app that you really can get out of it what you're willing to put into it. So I have my second account on here where I'm rescanning the entire collection. Right now, I only have 35 movies scanned in it because I'm rescanning everything and doing all the little intricate things like this is a Scream Factory, this is a Blue Underground, this is a Steel Book, and all that. And you could, you could not do that if you want. You could just scan, scan, scan just so you have a general list, which is how my other account is. But I, I really want that whole intricate list, so it would be really nice. But anyways, so on my main screen here, I'm going to click... CLZ movies. Open it up and you see at the top 35 movies. Obviously, I have more than 35 movies. So, like I said, this is the new one that I'm working on rescanning. But you could just scroll up and down. You'll this is just the general list of everything. On the side, there's the A through and then whatever letter is your last letter. Like if I had a, a Z in there, there would be A through Z. But you could just click and navigate yourself that way or up at the top you can just type in i know mr mom is in here type in mr there's mr mom easiest pie to find go back and yeah that's super simple and then something else that's really cool so up at the top here where it says uh near 35 movies i could click this down and this is a way you could sort everything really nicely so Say I want to look at format. I want to see how much I have of every format. I could click that, and then it tells me all movies. I have a total of 35. 4K, I have 8 scanned in here right now. I could click it. There's my 8 4K. I have 26 Blu-ray scanned. Click it. This is all of my Blu-ray that's currently scanned. And when you go into your sub area, when you do the search it will only search based off of the subfolder you're in so if you only have a certain movie on dvd and you're in blu-ray you when you do your search you'll be able to specifically find just based off blu-ray which is nice but all right let's see go back to no folders something else that's pretty cool that i intend to do now with this whole thing is i want to do everything that I have on DVD that never made it to Blu-ray, which would be very helpful. And down at the bottom here, there's an area called Tag. Click it. I made a tag that says not on Blu-ray. I click it, and this is a movie I picked up today at Salvation Army, and this doesn't have a Blu-ray, so I have it under a tag of not on Blu-ray. Nice and easy. I could also go to, let's see, Distributor. Blue Underground. There's my Blue Underground titles that I've scanned in here right now. So, as you can see, you go super in-depth with all types of little things. Say I want to go to, let's see, packaging. I want to mark everything that's a steelbook as I get it. Steelbook. Hey, look, there's my steelbooks. So, when everything's in, you'll be able to easily be like, how many steelbooks do I have? Oh, that's how many I have. Incredibly helpful. Oh, go back to that. So, as you can see, you could go really 
in depth here. I, I honestly can't think of what else you really need out of a cataloging app. I've tried so many different cataloging apps and using Excel and everything. And this app, while paid, I think is the best. I know a lot of people use Blu-ray.com app and I used it for a while, but I don't know. I just find the ease of this one the best because also the adding movies is great. So I need internet connection to do it. So I'm going to turn off my airplane mode right now. And I'm going to click down at the bottom, this little plus sign. Now you could go over to title and type in what you want. Like Tully has not been added yet to this run. So I'm going to say I wanted to add Tully manually. I can just start typing. There's Tully. But what's easier, scan the barcode. And there is Tully. Click it. Click add to collection. You could tell it where you bought it, how much you bought it for, all different types of stuff. The, the tag down here where you can say if it's a DVD that's not on Blu-ray, or you can make a tag and call it Charlie Theron if you want, whatever. But add to collection, and that is it. So now you see it says 36 movies instead of 35, and it's really just that simple. And over here, there is a sync with the CLZ Cloud. I have it set on auto sync, where every time I, I scan something, it will sync up. And then, like, my wife will be able to have the same app, and everything I scan will show for her. It's great. So, I just, I've gotten the question a lot over the years on what I use. And this is the best to me. So, I hope this has been informative uh if you had any more types of questions about this app i mean feel free to ask I, I really can't think of what else i would want from an app this does everything i can possibly want it to do i can i could tell it screen factory i can tell it steelbook i could i could tell it everything and Whatever I'm willing to put into it, I'm going to get this super in-depth list. It's great. So I hope this has been helpful for anyone that's been struggling on coming up with an idea on how to catalog their movies. And yeah, if you, catalog, you use anything else, let me know down below what you use. If you use CLZ, let me know. And yeah, I'll talk, like, comment, subscribe. I'll talk to you in the next one.